So guys, back in the 2000s, I remember using my father's Sony Walkman and so was the boon for that portable audio cassette player because it was so cool. I mean, it was so crazy that of course, people like listening to music on the Sony Walkman, but you know, it was also like a fashion statement. Now, 23 years later, I've once again come across a Sony Walkman, but this time with a modern twist. This is the Sony Walkman NWZX707. Uh, Sony could have uh, gotten the name right. But yes, anyway, hello everyone, I'm here for Fiber, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Sony Walkman ZX707. I will be telling you about the good and bad about this device, but uh, before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. Now before all else, let me tell you that this device is for the purists. That is, if you're someone who wants to enjoy their music in the best possible manner, this device is for you. Because if you're a regular consumer, in that case at a price of about 70,000, I am sure this product will not be justified for you. I mean, who spends that sort of money on a music only device? It's just crazy. As for me, I have thoroughly enjoyed the audio listening experience on the Walkman ZX707 and especially paired with the Sennheiser IE200 wide earphones, I have fallen in love with listening to music all over again. So of course, we'll talk about the audio performance of the Walkman ZX707 in a bit, but let's first admire the exquisite design and build of the device. Now my first impressions of this audio player, it is like a solid chunky block of matter which feels premium in the hand. At the back you can find a beautiful textured leather finish. The iconic Walkman logo is also present. Now the frame is all aluminum which gives it quite the premium heft. Now being a Walkman, you can find all the music controls, that is the buttons are present on the right. So whenever you're traveling, you don't have to take out the device out from your pocket. You know where the buttons are and you can simply play pause tracks, increase or decrease the volume and do the stuff pretty sorted by the way there's a hold button as well that prevents you from all those accidental presses now coming to the top you can find a regular 3.5 mm audio jack along with a 4.5 mm audio jack on the other side for the best wired audio listening experience you can possibly have on a portable audio player additionally sony is also giving you an sd card slot for expandable storage and while uh, you are getting 64 gb onboard storage on on the Walkman ZX707, I'm sure if you are someone who would like to store high bitrate tracks on this device, then you will be needing a lot of storage. So an SD card uh, expansion is definitely a given on this kind of a device. But you can also use streaming services like Tidal and Deezer. I think that is also a good option. So of course, you're sorted both ways. For me, I have been listening to lossless music on Apple Music and I have to say my experience has been worthwhile. Apart from this, there's a USB Type-C port for charging. Up front, there is a five inch LCD display. There's Android 12 software on board, but that's not what we are here to talk about, right? I mean, for some people, this might be a glorified music player that's an Android phone without the calling feature but trust me when I say this guys the audio listening experience on the Walkman ZX707 is simply next level. Now to give you that superb audio experience Sony has also provided all the needed hardware on the inside of the Walkman ZX707. So there's a large solid high-end capacitor there's a high polymer capacitor and a usage of oxygen free copper basically with all these additions just understand that the ZX707 is able to deliver a clean audio output with a wide sound stage. The first thing that I did before listening to songs on Apple Music was that I enabled lossless audio from the settings and from then on, it's been a joy listening to tracks. Trust me, there are a lot of good quality TWS earbuds that support the LDAC codec on high-end phones and the audio quality is also super, but nothing beats the beauty of high-res audio paired with great quality wired earphones 
on the Walkman ZX707. By the way, you're also getting the Walkman app for storing offline music and there's also a sound adjustment app that lets you adjust the quality of the music for the best possible output. Now coming to the experience, the audio experience of this device, I mean, this thing has to be the best thing to happen to me when it comes to listening to tracks. Personally, I am a big fan of indie pop and Bollywood music and imagine you love a song that you hear on your TWS or in your car. Now the same song sounds so magical on the Walkman ZX707 that I just can't put it into words. It's like you get to hear the tiniest of details in a song in the purest form available. Highs sound crisp, the mids are clear and the lows have all the depth that you could ask for. It's like I'm not able to explain because obviously I am overwhelmed with the experience but uh, so many tracks from KK like Mere Bina Mein or Zara Si Dil Mein De Jaga Tu which are like perfect reverb dominated tracks sounded amazing. Tracks by Atif Aslam or Amit Trivedi and I can name numerous artists. I am telling you guys, I haven't heard this much music in a very long time and ending my nights with the Walkman ZX707 has become kind of a thing lately. By the way, you're not getting any sort of uh, stereo speakers or even a single speaker on uh, the Sony Walkman ZX707. I mean, I understand that this device is meant to enjoy your music in the purest form on wired earphones or uh, wireless earphones. But uh, Sony for the price tag, I think you could, uh, like the company could have given uh, a pair of stereo speakers on the Walkman ZX707. Now with everything said, uh, the battery life for a thing of beauty that is the Walkman ZX707 is pretty average to say the least. In my usage with about two hours of daily music playback along with using Chrome and YouTube here and there, the ZX707 used to last me two days on a single charge. And I think this is the only uh, drawback uh, from my perspective at least that is uh, you have to charge this device every two days and uh, that is if you're a moderate user by the way. If you're a heavy user you will have to charge it daily. Long story short, the Sony Walkman NWZX707 is not your usual cup of tea for everyone. I mean, even if you ask me, will I just get an Android powered music player for about 70,000 to listen to audio in the best quality? Honestly, no, or probably yes, if I have a lot of money to burn, or probably yes, if I am an audiophile. Because uh, when it comes to listening to audio and reviewing audio products, I consider myself to be on the intermediate level, and if a person like me can appreciate the Walkman ZX707 for what it offers, then I can only imagine what this device would mean to a true blue audiophile. Fiber rates the Sony Walkman NW ZX707 an 8 out of 10, but yes guys, that were my thoughts on the latest Sony Walkman device. What do you think about uh, this one? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.